skills you need to get a new career? Call Center for Training and Careers today. That's CTC at 408-213-0961 and start building your new career today. Wapili Rose Amador LeBeau, and this is Native Voice TV. Welcome to the show. I'm really excited with our guest today, all the way from Tucson, Arizona. I'd like to welcome Tony Redhouse. Thank you, Rose. We had you on about seven or eight years ago. Yes. When we first started the show, and now where it's been 10 years, the show's been yes. on. And so good to have you back. Thank you. Now, Tony is of the Navajo Nation. Mm -hmm. And you are an inspirational speaker, an eagle hoop dancer, a spiritual teacher, award-winning recording artist, so many talents, and you're founder of the Native American Yoga uh, and a certified instructor. Yes. Amazing background. You just have so many talents. And you're two-time winner of the Native American Music Awards. Yes, as a solo artist and then uh, two other awards with uh, Robert Tree Cody and a couple, uh, Ruben Romero and Rob Wallace. Oh, and I look forward to hearing yeah. your music and seeing some of your dancing, so <coughs> stay tuned because you're going to see all of that. Now, you incorporate Native American uh, art forms for inspirational and for healing? Yes, uh, the voice, the drum, and the flute, which are the ancient forms of expression that we've used to uh, bring us into ceremony to uh, take us back to our simplicity uh, have been very instrumental in me working with drug addiction programs uh, sharing music in the hospice to help people transition from this this world from this life uh, allowing loved ones to let go of them and also working with cancer patients using simple sound to unite all the cells and bring the body back into balance and where do you, you do this at I do, uh, I do schools? I go into the hospice regularly in, in Tucson, Arizona. Okay. I go into a, a, a Pepe's house and I share music there. Um, and also I go into uh, 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 the Miraval Resort, which is a resort in, in Tucson, Arizona, where I do regular sessions with guests and celebrities and that kind of thing. They come in and I, and I share with them. Speaking of <laughs> celebrities, <laughs> I was looking at your... Um, your profile and some of your background, and you were on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Yes, I was. And when was that, and what was that show about? That was, uh, I think it was last year. Uh, I think it was March 9th. Um, and I help, was helping uh, Courtney Kardashian and Scott with their relationship and using Native American drum, using uh, simple exercises with the drum uh, in a talking circle ceremony where they were able to practice healthy communication mm -hmm. with being assertive and speaking your truth and also being able to listen and accept the other person wherever they're at. And so I helped them uh, while they were at Mirabal Resort and uh -huh. they went through other treatments and other meditations, but I was the Native American uh, aspect. Wow, so you were on, I have to look up that show. Yeah. <laughs> Watch that uh -huh. one, how exciting. And you were on Dr. Oz. Yes, Dr. Oz, uh, he brought, uh, in fact, he was just in Sacramento. Um, he brought 50 women releasing emotional baggage from his TV studio audience. Oh, okay. And they were able to go to Mirabal Resort for a number of days and receive meditation, spa treatments, and be able to heal up work through some issues and I was uh, doing a drumming circle, Native American drumming circle, mm -hmm. interactive, helping them to release uh, baggage, stress, and be able to go back to simplicity. How amazing. And this was recently? Yes, this years? was a couple years ago. Wow, you have quite a resume there. A lot of TV and uh, so you also, do you work with youth? Yes, I'm doing uh, American Indian Youth Camp uh, in June. 
18th mm -hmm. in Prescott, Arizona. Ah. Uh, and they are a, an organization that goes across the country, dif different reservations. They have different uh, youth, 10 to 14 years old, that have a summer camp. And they are exposed to Native American culture, uh, some of the teachings that their you know, uh, elders and people like myself uh, and be able to help them to make healthy decisions, to be able to find their truth, to go back to uh, their culture. And so I'm uh, part of that. I'll be part of that uh, in June uh, in Prescott, Arizona, with most of the tribes in the Southwest will be there. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Now, do you see a lot of kids losing the culture now, or is it they're they trying to assimilate? I think that there is really uh, a revival of culture, in a sense, through a lot of the powwows, uh, pan-Indianism, intertribal, uh, which is a, a good introduction for youth to be able mm -hmm. to begin, you know, having pride in their culture, in their dance, and their, and being uh, athletic, and being able to to be live passionately. So it, it there is, I think, there's a, a lot of interest that's happening now across the country with all tribes. Uh, and the door is a lot of it is to powwows. Mm -hmm. uh, they're introduced to culture, uh, doing you know, making their beadwork and, and making their crafts, regalia. If they don't make their grandmothers do it, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so it, I think there is a lot of that. But there was also uh, when I went to Montana uh, as a speaker, and I did a speaking circuit to five different uh, reservations in Montana uh, because of the epidemic uh, meth addiction mm -hmm. and also the. Uh, Teen suicide yes. is the highest in the country, yes. and so there we're dealing with some some heavy issues that are affecting our people. Uh, but in, but on the on the good side, there are there is a, a an interest in the culture through dancing, through music, um, and and creating the youth creating their own versions, you know, of, mm -hmm. of music, hip hop with Native American. You know, there's different right, styles. Right, yeah. Right. Well, that's good because <clears throat> it's it's really needed. Now, you're going to Petaluma, and uh -huh. they have Tony Red House Day. <laughs> yes. What an honor. Tell me about that. Yes, I'm still alive, <laughs> and I have my own day. That's great. <laughs> um, so uh, that was amazing. Uh, several years ago, I went to the city of Petaluma, and Arizona Historical uh, Museum there had me do a show. And when I went, came out of the green room to do the show, the mayor had a proclamation. Uh, that it was Tony Red House Day, May 25th, in the city of Petaluma. Uh, because of my work with drug addiction programs uh, and also with hospice and also working with cancer patients. So they wanted to recognize the work that I, my life work actually, mm -hmm. that I've been doing. Um, and so that was really a really beautiful gesture for them. And so they want me to come back on Friday the 22nd to do a, a kids assembly, K through six, and share inspiration and Native American culture with the uh, city of Petaluma. How wonderful. Yes. Now you have several CDs out. Tell me mm -hmm. about the CDs. The CDs that I have as a solo artist um, really are reflecting my perspective and, and most of what I do is spiritual. Uh, mm -hmm. I share through the drum, through the voice, through the flute, uh, through, my, through my words, uh, trying to help people to heal. And so most of my music is about helping people to heal mm -hmm. Uh, taking them back to the simplicity of a heartbeat uh, because the world has become so complex and as we can see with a lot of these reality TV shows there's a lot of drama yes. uh, but even in our own personal lives there's a lot of drama I mean we go through transitions we go through divorce we go through losing loved ones mm -hmm. some of us are diagnosed with cancer uh, and some of us are going through addictions and so there's a need to go back to the very simple. So a lot of the, the sounds that I use are na sounds of nature, the heartbeat drum, the drums that I make are, are, are what I use in my, uh, my musical offerings. And they have a way of resonating and going through all layers of consciousness and going right to the soul and allowing people to begin to go inside and to feel who am I, what am I, what do I really want in my life? Mm -hmm. Uh, not the expectations and the thoughts whirling around uh, in society, you know, but what do I want, my truth. So I'm trying to bring people back to their truth. And Native American culture and music are a beautiful way, as all indigenous cultures, all of our ancestors, had the drum, the voice, and the flute. Mm -hmm. And we had all of these practices that connected us uh, to nature and to interact, sh show, showing our interaction with nature. 
Now, for our audience, Tony brought five of those CDs to the studio. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the show, I'll tell you how you could win one of those CDs. But you have to stay tuned, <laughs> but I'll tell you later. That's really exciting. And congratulations on the honor in Petaluma. That Thank is you. an honor. So um, I'm looking forward to you going to sing for us or you're going uh -huh. to play flute what are you sing and play flute. all of the above we're yeah. so happy you're able to join us again today and it's been so many years but we'll have you back every few years so we okay. can keep up with what you're doing because you're doing so many wonderful things in the community and across the nation and you know we're across the nation now with our yes. tv show so we'll make sure we get get you out there so you've been on the kardashians and dr oz and now native voice tv again Yes. But I want to let you know that Native Voice TV is now in Alaska, Arizona, California, Colorado, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, New Mexico, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Utah, Vermont, and Wyoming. And uh, locally, Create TV is going to start carrying us on Channel 27 and Channel 30, but we'll be on uh, in Atherton, Campbell. Cupertino, East Palo Alto, Los Altos, Los Gatos, Menlo Park, Milpitas, Mountain View, Palo Alto, San Jose, Santa Clara, Saratoga, Stanford University, and Sunnyvale. So if you want to check out the location or times, go to nativevoicetv.org and you can find out where we're going to be on in your city, the city closest to you.
the crystal sea that sparkles bright, bringing Where the where the
wasn't that fantastic? I always enjoy seeing Tony. So, and I know you're waiting to find out how you can win one of those five CDs. So what we need to do is go on Facebook to Native Voice TV and tell us where Tony will be honored. I talked about it earlier, right? Let me know what city that's going to be in, and you'll win a CD. The first five people that do that on Native Voice TV on Facebook. So thank you for joining us, and thank you, Tony Redhouse. We really enjoyed your performance today. Thank you, and we'll see you again on Native Voice TV next week. Good night.